Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Tableau interview question that were asked to me in Vertusa interview. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without wasting any further time, let's move to the questions. First question was explain your roles and responsibility. Roles and responsibility basically what kind of work you do in your day to day life. OK, so you can start like gathering and understanding business requirement, how you get the business requirement from the client. It could be through the email. It could be zero ticket or other way as well. And then how you start working on the zero ticket, like set up a call with the client or the business or business users to understand their requirements and how you get the data and then how you connect the multiple data sources and how you clean the data, what kind of calculations you have created and how you design the dashboard, what kind of validation you do after creating the dashboard and how you publish a dashboard and give a demo to the business. If you can consider these points while giving the roles and responsibility explanation into the interview. OK, next question was explain the steps involved in deploying a Tableau dashboard or Tableau project. OK, you have to mention all the steps that you ensure while building the dashboard and after the after publishing the dashboard as well. OK, so you can mention about the development part where you build the dashboard. Then you can mention about the testing part where you validate the data in the UAT. So one thing that is very important to talk about in this is that is version control. Version control is basically how you maintain the integrity or the different versions of your dashboard. So mention about that, like how you do that, like it could be through the Git. It could be through the publishing the dashboard to a common workspace or or maybe saving at a common shared drive location or maintaining the folders into your local drive as well. So give example on that as well and then publish the dashboard. Then what kind of permissions you have set to dashboard, how you schedule the refresh frequency of the dashboard and what kind of things you monitor after publishing the dashboard. OK, mention all kind of things into these questions. OK, explain the difference between data relationship and data blending the W when and why would be used. Relationship is basically used to connect the data from multiple data sources and blending is also used to connect the data from multiple data sources. Why we use data relationship? So basically before 2020.2, we use data blending. There was some issue with the data blending. So whenever there is a one to many relationship, it gives the asterisk because data blending works perfectly fine with the one to one relationship. So to overcome this problem, we use data relationship also with the help of the data relationship we can improve the performance of the dashboards okay when and why to use one thing that i would like to mention here is data blending is used for the published data source but we can't use relationship with the published data source okay one disadvantage i already mentioned about data blending is about like when it you asterisk when one to many relationship then we can use for data relationship nowadays after 2020.2, Tableau automatically connect your dashboard to the data relationship on the logical layer. OK, next question is how does Tableau ensures referential integrity in data connection? First, we should know what is referential integrity. Referential integrity means a row in a table will always have a matching row in other table. OK, in Tableau, we can enable referential integrity at the relationship level. OK, there are two type of referential integrity we can enable here. One is some record match. Second one is all record match. Some record match is basically means we don't know if there is a referential integrity between these tables or not. OK, all record match means there is a referential integrity between these two tables. OK, so if you are aware like table one will always have a match with the table two, then go with the all record match. And if you are not aware, then go with the some record match. OK. The benefit of referential integrity is it will improve the performance of the dashboard because after enabling referential integrity, Tableau doesn't need to query both the tables. It assumes like they have a relationship between them and it will query data very faster. Next question is what is the purpose of len function in Tableau? Len function is basically used to return the number of characters in a string field. It starts with len, then it requires a string field okay remember that it always work with the string field okay it is basically used for data validation and if you want to know the number of characters in a field you can use that okay what are the steps and the options available while creating an extract in a tableau basically whenever you switch from live to extract and go to the edit option these are the options available while creating the extract okay 
filter option is available let's say you want to filter out the data based on some specific condition so you can go with the filter and if you want to aggregate the data based on the visible dimension so that you can go with the aggregation and scheduling option is available you can set the frequency like full load or incremental loads so these are the options available in the extract and after you click on that and move to the report it will save your report in the dot hyper extension okay next question is if tableau desktop is already available why would you additionally use tableau prep first you should know what is the main function of tableau desktop and what is the main function of tableau prep tableau desktop is basically used for data visualization and analysis okay but tableau prep is basically as the name says it tableau prep is prep is a sort of form preparation preparation means how you prepare the data okay tableau prep is basically used for data cleaning transformation and preparing data before visualization okay you would use tableau prep basically whenever you need to perform complex joins pivot aggregation or you want to do some transformation like remove duplicates restructuring the data or or you want to optimize the data okay so in short if you want to clean the data before visualization then go with the tableau prep and after cleaning the data we can use the data in our tableau desktop okay let's move to the scenario based questions how will you find latest refresh date in tableau this is very important to show latest or last refresh date into your dashboard to check when was your dashboard get refreshed okay so how we can do that first we need to look at the date field into your dashboard then create a calculated field and find out the max date of that okay and if you are using the live data then you can go with the two days okay and then create one more calculation okay and then you can write last refresh date and then use that calculated field max of date field okay this is how you can create and add that latest refresh date into your dashboard okay next question was how you can embed tableau dashboard to web this is very important to check if you have worked with them apis or not so first how you can do that first you need to publish a dashboard to the tableau server once you publish a dashboard go to the server and then click on the share okay and then get its embedded code from tableau server okay then copy this and wherever let's say your web application is using javascript api or whatever it is using okay you can just copy the code and paste into that code and use that okay this is how you can use for more information what kind of code you have to use into java api you can just google it and find it out okay i'll paste the link in the description box next question was from the sequel what's the difference between clustered versus not clustered index okay cluster index is basically used for the faster retrieval of the data whenever we create the table sql automatically create a cluster index into the data okay we can just have one cluster index per table okay if we talk about the non cluster index so what it will do is it will use a, use like a book like of structure first we have a index then we have the reference of that index into the book okay so first it create a separate structure with the pointers to the data okay and we can have multiple non cluster index per table and it is basically used kind of look up kind of data okay if we take an example of the book let's say we want to into the page 14 we have to look for that specific type kind of topic then we can check its index and go for that okay so this is the primary example of non cluster index next question is what is self join and why we need it self join is basically when a table is joined to itself means the same table is used twice in a query with different alias okay it helps to compare rows within the same table okay so let's take an example of hr system we have a employee table and in this we have employee id employee name and manager id okay a employee can be a manager as well okay and we have a hierarchy of employee and we need to map that employee to their manager so for this kind of query we can use self join okay last question is write query to delete duplicate records okay there are multiple ways to delete the duplicate records in the query but most common is by using the cte and the row number this is the result for that and you can use this query to delete the duplicate records there can be multiple ways as well okay that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe if you have any questions or concern you can connect with me over the linkedin and on my id as well thank you so much see you in the next video